Ferrari, Bugatti, and even Ford have ultra-rare supercars that won't just cost you millions of dollars. You also have to be hand-picked to own one. Like this $1.9 million Bentley Bacalar, which already pre-sold its 12 limited edition models. Or this $13 million custom-made Rolls-Royce, of which only one exists. Some companies will even do anything to find the right fit. Ford will actually go through your social media before they hand over the keys to an exclusive GT. Here are some of the rarest supercars in the world and the hoops you have to jump through to get behind the wheel of Money isn't enough for you to get your hands on the exclusive Ford GT. With twin turbo V8 engine and 660 horsepower, the $500,000 car can only be obtained by filling out an application and hoping that you get allocated a model. So what's the criteria for approval? Well, they have to know that you love cars and that also you'll be responsibly representing the Ford lifestyle. They carefully comb over your applications and will even go through your social media accounts to make sure that you are the perfect fit. That's right, Ford will pay workers thousands of dollars just to make sure their GT customers are the right buyers. But you can't blame them for jumping through hoops for the GT. It goes from 0 to 60 in 3 seconds, and it even comes with a limited edition liquid carbon option, where a special clear coat replaces the paint job so Ford's carbon fiber body can be appreciated. If you're not willing to apply and hope you get picked, you could always look for a GT secondhand, but just be warned, they usually sell for a million dollars. The number one rule for making a car exclusive is making sure there's a limited number of models. Lamborghini knew they had something special with the Veneno Roadster, so they only made nine units. The hypercars were sold to various hand-picked individuals for a price tag of $4.5 million each. An earlier model, the Veneno, was also pretty exclusive. The automaker produced two models for itself and only three for customers. But the special edition Roadster was created to celebrate the automaker's 50th anniversary. It comes with a fold-down fabric top that makes it look like a unique roofless racing car. And it definitely lives up to the hype. With a 6.5-liter aspirated V12 engine, 750 horsepower, and a top speed of 355 kilometers an hour. Not to mention it can go from 0 to 60 in only 2.9 seconds. But your luck's not totally out if you want your own Venino Roadster. They occasionally pop up for sale used, but you'll need around $9.5 million handy. You don't usually need to already own a car to buy a new one, but Ferrari doesn't think so when it comes to one of their most exclusive models. The LaFerrari is a $1.4 million car, and rumor has it that customers must already have at least five Ferraris to even be considered to own one. It works like this. Customers apply via their dealers for the 950 horsepower supercar, and then the dealers pass on the names of the most loyal customers to corporate. There, they make the final decision. And it's a tough one. There were over a thousand applications filled out the moment the car debuted, but there were only 499 models created. Occasionally, buyers are lucky and spot a used LaFerrari without the complicated application process. While you might save on time and on buying five other Ferraris first, you'll be paying at least $3.5 million. But for a car that goes from 0 to 60 in 2.4 seconds and looks like this, it's worth it. Wouldn't you love a completely custom luxury car of which no other models existed? One Rolls-Royce customer got just that, and it came with a huge price tag. The Rolls-Royce Sweptail is a vintage-looking vehicle based off the luxury yachts of the 1920s and 30s. A valued customer approached the company in 2013 with an idea for his perfect Royce, and the car company said, no problem, just give us $13 million. The Sweptail is the most expensive car ever commissioned. It's based off the specs of the Rolls-Royce Phantom, with 563 horsepower and a 6.7-liter V12 engine. But it has a lot of unique things going for it. For one, on the rear end is the swept tail that gives the car its name. And the interior is built for luxury driving, including a center console that can serve up a bottle of champagne and two crystal champagne flutes. The car apparently also came with its own set of luggage to sweeten the $13 million deal. The Tesla Roadster was set for release in 2021, but Elon Musk has admitted it might take a little more time to complete this supercar. But that hasn't stopped him from taking money from excited customers wanting to reserve a model. Musk has hyped up the Roadster as being able to do 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds and reach speeds of over 400 kilometers an hour. Tesla claims it will offer the base Roadster for $200,000 and a limited edition Founders series for $50,000 more. Only 1,000 of the Founder Series models will be built, although we haven't quite got many details on just how unique the limited edition will be. To assure your spot in line, Tesla is requiring a $50,000 down payment for the base model, even though we don't have an official release date. 
The Founders Edition costs even more. You'll have to pay the full $250,000 up front. Once released, Tesla has plans for even more upgrades, including a SpaceX option package that will use 10 small rocket thrusters arranged around the car to improve top speed, acceleration, braking, and cornering. Let us know what you think about space technology being used in the Tesla Roadster in the comments. The soon-to-be-released Bentley Bacalar is pretty unique. Though it uses the same mechanical hardware as the Continental GT convertible, the whole purpose of the limited edition model is to show off the amazing customizations that Bentley is able to deliver to its most well-paying customers. The $1.9 million car isn't even out yet, and already all 12 models have been sold to some of Bentley's most loyal buyers. It's definitely a car meant for fun and games as it comes with no roof and room for only two people. Its trim includes natural British wool, hand-stitched materials, and paneling formed from 5,000-year-old petrified wood. The paint also contains ash from rice husks, providing a rich metallic finish and in a sustainable way. If you want a Bentley with 650 horsepower that can go from 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds, the Bacalar might be a good choice. You'll just have to wait a while to see if any of its exclusive buyers decides to part with one. Floyd Mayweather is one of the exclusive buyers who got his hands on a Koenigsegg CCXR Trevita, and he spent $4.8 million for it. Only three of the Trevita have ever been made, and it was originally sold for a base price of $2.6 million. Koenigsegg could have had a lot of money on their hands with this model, but it was actually production challenges that made this car so rare. Due to the extreme complexity of turning the darker carbon body into a silvery white using diamond weave carbon fiber, the company decided to stop after making just three units. With a 1,018 horsepower engine, the ability to go from 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds, and a top speed of more than 410 kilometers an hour, seeing a Trevita out on the road is like seeing a ghost. You never expect it, and you will definitely be amazed. The Bugatti Veyron Pureblood was made to get attention. It has a raw aluminum and carbon fiber finish, 1,000 horsepower, and an astonishing speed. We are talking 0 to 60 in 2.6 seconds and a top speed of 400 kilometers an hour. But it's hard to find one of these rare beauties because only five were ever built. Originally offered for $1.5 million each, the price of a used Veyron Pureblood is now 230% higher at $4.8 million. That's not so surprising given that when the Pureblood first debuted, at the Frankfurt Motor Show, all five of the exclusive cars were sold within 24 hours. Another thing that makes these models super rare is that some of them have different colored interiors, which can make the resale price go up. For example, only one has a beige interior, and it's likely the rarest and most expensive of them all. While it might be almost impossible to actually own a Bugatti Veyron Pureblood, people have made a sort of game out of seeing if they can spot all five models out in the wild. To really up the value of a car, a company might consider making only a certain number per year or making each unit custom built. That worked out pretty well for the Tramontana R, a road safe speedster based on Formula One race cars. The company only makes 10 per year, and each one is custom made for the customer. To own one, you'll have to decide what customizations you want and be willing to shell out anywhere between $550,000 to a million dollars. The Tromontana may look small, but it packs quite the punch. It's powered by a 5.5 liter V12 Mercedes Benz twin turbo engine and is capable of producing 760 horsepower. It can also go from zero to 60 in only 3.6 seconds. There are two versions of the car, one with a single seat and another with a rear passenger seat. The resale value of the Trail Montana is usually around $1 million, though it could go up to $1.5 million, depending on the customizations. But if you want a unique car without too much hassle, the Trail Montana might just be the perfect candidate. All the way back in 1998, Porsche made a unique race car and then converted it for road use. It was the Porsche 911 GT1 Strassen version, or street version. Only 21 GT1 road versions were made, and they were all pre-sold to a select group of chosen Porsche customers. The GT1 boasts 592 horsepower, a top speed of 309 kilometers an hour, and can go from 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds. While it might not be the newest or the fastest supercar, its exclusivity is in part due to the mystery surrounding just how much people paid for these unique cars. Used models, which very rarely appear on the market, have gone for as much as $5 million, but a new model could have apparently cost as much as $8.5 million. That's not so surprising given how dedicated Porsche fans are, especially if they really wanted to get their hands on this limited edition Porsche. But feel free to let us know in the comments if you would hand over $8 million for one.